We've seen historic snowfall across the western half of the United States, but as we move into the warmer months, what does that mean? Here's meteorologist Chris Smallcomb with more information. The snowpack coming off the of Sierra, it's, it's, it's a really vital resource that we have here for our water supply. It is our giant reservoir um, of water that we use throughout the summer and into the fall. Years like this, where there's so much snow, that's where we get concerned as we head into the spring and summer about the magnitude of the melt. The pro, of course, is it's gotten us out of drought. A con, of course, the potential for flooding. That's a significant factor as we go over the next month or so. This snowpack has held on a lot later than normal. We knew it was going to do this. We're exposing that snowpack to uh, these heat waves that we're uh, about to go into over the next week or two. So that's going to accelerate the amount of melt. The flood potential is, is definitely increased. Here in Reno specifically, uh, we watched the Truckee River. The river is going to be running really full as it comes through downtown Reno. Some of the other rivers in northern Nevada, we do have more concerns. The Walker River is probably our biggest uh, high, high risk at this point. In the Sierra with giant snowpack, you know, wildfire season is highly likely to be delayed. But once we dry out fully, uh, you know, really it's anybody's guess on what could happen in, in terms of fire season. Into the Great Basin, some more into Nevada. Um, it's honestly the years when we exit drought, when we have those big wildflower blooms, those big grass crop growths. Uh, that's actually when we have some of our bigger fire seasons. So that's something that, that folks here are kind of watching as we head into the summer.